One of the goals of U.S. forces in Afghanistan is transitioning and building sovereignty for the Afghan people. Senior Airman Cameron Curry tells us about a hospital corpsman who is part of a medical training advisory group. His mission? To help Afghan lab technicians move toward being self-sufficient. Key leaders, hospital staff, and members of the Navy's Medical Training Advisory Group, or MTAG, met to discuss visions, goals, and training. Training that leads to a smooth transition. <laughs> Afghan lab technicians worked with hospital corpsman third class Reginald Walkins to ensure that they are qualified on urine microscopic procedures. HM3 Walkins says he is impressed with the receptiveness and results of the training. Today we did uh, SOP training for the dipstick just to kind of brush up, these guys already know what it is. I think it went really well. Colonel Mahmoud is very, very knowledgeable on the subject because he's done it for a lot of years, more than I have. And the guys seem to take well to it, so I think it went well. They've come from about a 2B, which is like the third, fourth highest score, to a 1A, which is the highest score. So I think we are on our way to transitioning out of here. And they will be able to sustain themselves because they've proven it. He added that after his deployment, the mission at the Afghan Poly Clinic will be complete, marking another milestone for the Afghan medical field and highlighting the hard work of HM3 Watkins and his team. This time you have to use the dipstick method. Senior Airman Cameron Curry, Kabul, Afghanistan. Let's lay it out. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Brandi Wills.